Hey guys, welcome to The Sounding Mind, the loud inside voice that speaks the truth and nothing but the truth to power. This is the channel that focuses on exposing the hypocrisy of the left agenda. Don Lehman unexpectedly disappeared, so it seems like it's finally happening, albeit years too late, of course. He was there and is no more. Little Donnie Lemonhead has reportedly vanished from the Clinton News Network following the Nikki Haley controversy from yesterday. The show must go on, as the saying goes. Don Lemon is not present, but the morning show is still in progress. He's either been suspended, is taking a sabbatical, or CNN is looking for a way to permanently fire him. I hope that's the only choice left there. Of course, we are unsure at this time. But there is one thing we can be certain of. Something is wrong. And let me update you guys on everything that's going on related to this little Donnie Lemonhead sexist misogyny scandal. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, friends, so here's the update. Don Lemon is absent from CNN this morning after sexist Nikki Haley rant, which enraged Poppy Harlow. Don Lemon was conspicuously absent from CNN this morning on Friday, just 24 hours after he put his foot in his mouth with a sexist comment about 51-year-old Nikki Haley being not in her prime, prompting co-host Poppy Harlow to walk off the set. Friday morning's awkward broadcast started with a short clip featuring Harlow, who is on location in Salt Lake City, where she is covering NBA All-Star Weekend festivities, interviewing TNT's star basketball commentators Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. This is how the show opened up on Friday morning. You guys been great to me for 23 years. I'm not. Go <laughs> they are calling. On today's on today's episode, of give the BS answer. Yes. <laughs> I have serious FOMO from that interview that Poppy did. I'm jealous. <laughs> Poppy is at NBA All Stars Weekend. It is going to be so good. We have so many good moments from that, including that full interview there. Good morning, everyone. Audie Cordish is here at the desk with us this morning. Don has the day off. Poppy, as you can see, is in Utah for the NBA All Star Game. So we will get to. Much more of that in a moment. Don Lemon has the day off, according to Caitlin Collins, but I have a feeling there's more going on. I'm currently wondering if Don Lemon is actually done. Is his career truly over now? How many second chances may a person get? How much humiliation and reputational harm did one person psychologically endure before deciding to resign? Or even better, how much? It appears that Don Lemon is truly without guilt in this instance. However, it appears that Don Lemon could be put on the chopping block. The Daily Mail gave us a special. Don Lemon is rude, self-righteous, and clearly sexist. CNN Insider reveals there's so much pressure for unpopular host to be canned after his disgusting comment about GOP's Nikki Haley, 51, as he takes the day off. Lemon's comment shows how little he actually knows about women. Don is past his prime. He needs to retire. It appears that we're not the only ones that want Don Lemon's career to fail. That would be a triumphant turning point and a significant day in the fight against fake news reporting. But, despite the fact that Don Lemon has done a lot of copium and topium, I'm not so convinced. You know, the left constantly talks about alleged white privilege. The Proud Family, a new Disney Plus pre-launch show that was being covered by us just the other day, was effectively pushing the notion that white privilege is so strong that old white guys can literally praise police departments at will. But I personally have no experience with this concept of white privilege being used as a magic wand to get whatever you want in life. I have, however, heard a lot about the supposed black gay privilege. The best living, breathing illustration of that particular luxury, in my opinion, is Don Lemon. No matter what this guy does, no matter what he says, no matter how much nonsense he spreads in the name of fake news, no matter how badly he verbally abuses his co-hosts and producers behind the scenes, no matter how many lawsuits are filed against him claiming he punched someone during a brief encounter at a bar, Don Lemon always seems to get away with it. The man is a cockroach that managed to survive the nuclear holocaust. It appears that Donnie Lemonhead... A small child is getting away with a simple apology. He wrote on Twitter, The reference I made to a woman's prime this morning was in artful and irrelevant, as colleagues and loved ones have pointed out, and I regret it. A woman's age doesn't define her either personally or professionally. 
I have countless women in my life who prove that every day. A very bland, generic BS apology. Frankly, that's all little Donny Lemonhead needs to clear the air and save his career. You'd think after this national controversy and after being suspended that he'd be maybe a little bit nervous, maybe put himself in a situation of solitude to deeply reflect. But no, of course not. What's little Don Lemonhead doing? Embattled CNN anchor Don Lemon flees to Miami Beach amid Nikki Haley controversy. Don Lemon takes a little vacation in Miami and visits the beach. Just having a great time, you know, there's nothing to worry about or care about. Don Lemon likely has information that we don't. Don Lemon is probably aware of his invulnerability. He enjoys a really unique kind of luxury. He can cry if something bad happens to him. He can yell and accuses his old employer of discriminating against him because of his color. He can therefore get away with anything he cannot be harmed. There must be some significance to that, right? Recently at CNN, a huge number of employees were put on the chopping block. Little Donnie Lemonhead is obviously far better than tiny Brian Bryce Stelter, who is obviously a lot worse. Everyone believed that little Donnie Lemonhead was the next to go, and that his career at the network had no chance when CNN swung mercilessly without asking a single question and immediately ordered him to leave. Yet he managed to hang on and escape with a minor downgrade, which he even saw as a promotion to lead CNN's ambitious plans for a new morning show. The professional cat with nine lives is Don Lemon. Let's actually discuss privilege, I mean, Don Lemon appears to have some sort of protective shield against the forces of cancel culture based just on his identity. He is the one who is irrevocable. The uncancelable, I mean, the double standard is clear to most people paying attention. Here's another headline from the New York Post. Portnoy from Barstool Sports says he'd be in jail for making Don Lemons. Nikki Haley comments? What? Not if he identified as gay and black. Lemon knows he's in the protected class, that's why he says all those dumb things, because he knows he can get away with it. The hypocrisy is off the charts, but Don Lemon is rotten to the core. He's oblivious to the bile he spews daily, sold his soul for a few gold coins. The only thing worse is his level of entitlement that only an absolute ingrate could have. That's hyperbole, of course, but considering what they did to Andrew Tate, who if you think about it, was pushing very similar talking points to what Don Lemon is currently getting flack for, it might be literal in a certain sense. The only difference is that Andrew Tate has some solid ideas and for the most part really makes sense. On the other hand, Don Lemon misinterprets fundamental concepts and promotes pure hatred. Yet Andrew Tate is rotting in a prison cell because the machine originated from him, and at Miami Beach, tiny Donnie Lemonhead is having a queer old time. The disparity in treatment is obvious. You start to wonder a lot about it. What does Don Lemon actually possess? What is he watching on CNN? What clauses in his contract provide him such invulnerability? Don is taking the day off, as Caitlin Collins put it when describing his absence. Is that all this person is going to receive, really? No, I'm not a fan of the cancel culture, and in Don Lemon's case, I don't think it truly qualifies as such. It deserves to happen more. The guy simply shouldn't be on TV at this point. He lacks qualifications and seems to be a bad person. I think what I'm trying to say is that if there was ever a case where someone should be fired or have their career ended, this one involving the CNN fool would probably be it. It would be completely deserved and not really subject to argument. Nevertheless, this CNN lemon-shaped bug made it through somehow. What exactly does he possess to be so powerful and immune? I suppose it will have to wait and see, but the privileged double standard is once again clearly on exhibit. Don Lemon would have been canceled five years ago if he were a white male sissy. Lemon is dumber than a doorknob. His career is headed just where the other idiots did. Too bad it took so long. Lemon's apology is actually great news for anyone who has ever been accused of racism and hesitated to come back with the some of my best friends are black defense. That's all I got for you guys today. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get out of here now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.